kind of annoying. Oh, yeah. You're free to go. Really? <laughs> Not really. But you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked if anything useful. Have a wee day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I don't lose my job. <laughs> You didn't check it. You didn't check it. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? What is this? I want to try this one. Do that. Side effects including nausea, headaches, rapid heartbeat, impossibilities of stroke, and or heart attacks. Hmm, well, that's good to know. Retry. Let's do the file this time. Ah. So, door? No, no, that was no. Why did I do that? Dumb sleeping. You got nothing. I'm gonna use building grenades. I'm gonna blow them up. Watch this. Yo, check yourself. What the? Oh my guys. He's... I've got the hook. All I need to do is just make sure that. Well, that keeps happening. It's getting kind of annoying. Let's try the chair. Mmm, this one. Oh, this one. Who, who just has this on a roof? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna use the, uh... Oh yeah, welcome back. This is part two. The rope. Uh, 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 okay. That was a crazy thing. This is a game you're supposed to already know how to do this. Well, duh. I can probably escape with a parachute. Why is he not putting it on? Huh? Uh, uh, 
eat, eat, eating in the second place. If another stupid ad pop, pop, pops on, pops on again, I'm gonna be really mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna. Do this. I just wanted to try that again. Let me try from the start. Let me, let me do the fuck. Let me actually, let me see what, I, what happens when I use a rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's try the cell phone. Hmm. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. As ran alongside my partner, the armored man, suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. He got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Let's use the bag. Present. Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he try the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He did it. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. So he's to now. You guys can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Good name. And I got a innocent man.